Why are there so many more vaccines today than when your grandparents were kids? Let's talk about vaccine schedules over time and clear this up. Now, the American Academy of Pediatrics has been a leader in cracking childhood vaccine schedules since the late 1930s. Back then, kids only got a few shots, like for smallpox, diphtheria, and whooping cough. But they also used to get infected with polio, measles, mumps, and other diseases. Not great. Fast forward to the 1960s and we got vaccines for measles, rubella, and polio. And then in 1964, the government was like, we need to get organized. So they looked to the AAP and other experts and formed ASIP, the committee that recommended vaccines based on science, safety, and cost effectiveness. Then in the 1990s, we had even more research and real world experience and the first full childhood vaccine schedule came out and it was continuously updated with new licensed vaccines and recommendations. Today, from birth to 18, kids can get up to 15 vaccines, and that's a good thing because that's 15 serious illnesses that kids today are protected against that they weren't in the past. I have mentors who used to see babies die from Haemophilus influenza B. I've never seen a case. Have you seen a case of diphtheria or smallpox? That's what I thought, me neither. But we understand that you might have questions and we welcome them. Bring all your concerns, questions, and doubts to your pediatrician, a trusted healthcare professional. The internet is full of misinformation and people trying to sell you stuff. We're here to help. So stay curious and do it for the kids.